Jeremy St. Pierre. I started manufacturing um, at 13. From there, I just kept growing. I was reached out to by GKM. They had an idea of they were trying to build a new R&D cell based on tooling. They weren't really sure how to go about it. So they asked if I'd be on board to, to join GKM and start this process, and uh, I've been there since then. In order to make all of our products, we need tooling. The original investment was more geared towards um, regrinding, and I ended up quadrupling the investment for this project, and it took about so six and a half months and then it's been running now full for about two years now. We went from doing three sites to we're looking into 13 sites across North America and we do work for two, our two sites in Mexico as well. I think just the freedom and the easiness of coming in here and just saying hey I have this tool can you check it can you make one and this you know, obviously allows us to put that in there and see exactly how it works or why it's not working why it broke. We've been working with Zoller since before I was with GKN. We had um, presetters mostly in our uh, different sites. I decided to go all in. You know, we bought the Titan with the Robo set. I think it was one of the very first ones on the field. We have some tools that are very, very detailed inspection, which will actually require manual inspection. So that allows us to just set the Zoller up with automation for our production, where we can have one person manned focusing on making sure those details are correct. Inspection takes a while. We can run over the weekend, nights, full time. If we have a less trained person, the Titan can tell Bianca what to correct and then we bought TMS system as well. It's a pretty much our ERP system for this whole department. So that will keep track of inventory, sales, costs, everything is integrated into that system. When we first heard of the integration with tool holders and the chips that are built in and the system of actually recording in the machine, we decided we're gonna start testing those. And this is where we bought the tooling cell, so that the cabinets, the workbench, they're all gonna be set up for this cell. So our plan is to preset everything with the chips, have it all stored where any operator can come by, load it. And we don't have to buy you know, holders from someone else, modify them to read into TMS. We just want it to be a really closed end system. All the sites now that ship us tooling, it kind of comes randomly and we have no traceability or it's done by hand. And in the morning we'll get an email, hey, I counted 50 of these today, we'll be here tomorrow. So the plan is to have our satellite locations all set up with cabinets reporting out daily to us so we can plan better for our production and then as well as track costs live, which TMS allows us to do. We're setting up a bunch of tooling cells for all the cabinets, workbenches, all the keepers for the tool holders. We're testing out all the tool holders now with the Z chips, all that. Definitely beneficial to I think any company, small and large, looking to do it. It's not too hard to do. You know, we can take either a tool that's already out there or something from scratch and tweak it as many times as we want within a few days. If someone comes in here, it could be in half an hour and they have a tool. Uh, there's no more machines down waiting for tools. There's no more um, meetings going over repairs. It's just, hey, come to Cutter Grind, tell them what you need, you have it today.